Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, like the videos, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know Dream Team is when we upload new content. Before we even get into today's topic, we want to uh, say thank you to all the Dream Teamers out there. Oh, yes. Reached a milestone. Uh, what, the last two out of three videos? Yeah. A thousand views. It's a big deal. We're just now getting started, and uh, we appreciate all the love out there. So, yeah. Dream Teamers. Love it. Yeah. Keep locking in, liking the videos, leaving comments, and uh, we appreciate it. All right, we're going to get right to it. We just watched a great game. Brooklyn Nets versus the Los Angeles Clippers Ooh. may have been the best game of the uh, season so far. So far, yeah. So far, yeah. That that, that was a, a great game. Uh, playoff atmosphere. The stars showed up. And uh, what, what you think about it? <laughs> the stars showed up. Mm -hmm. I mean, for one thing, this just this stands completely out to me. And I'm looking. I just saw it. I just noticed it. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant, man. I don't think. I gotta check, but I don't think in history I ever seen what he did tonight. He only had 28 points. Not only, but but for him, that's a, a, that's less than his average. But uh, he had 20, 20, 28 points, nine rebounds. Right? This is the key. Out of 13 shots, he shot 84.6 from the field. Mm. And it was a lot of perimeter shots too. He didn't really have any bunnies. That's what I mean. Yeah. It's not like he's in the paint and getting to the foul line. He's he's shooting jumpers. Yeah. He shot eighty four point six percent from the field. Yeah. Man, that that is scary. It is, and, and not to mention, like if you watch the game, you notice how he took a back seat a lot of the time throughout the game. Took and he thirteen shots, man. Yeah. Very efficient. <laughs> That's overly efficient. Listen, man. That's why they say a lot of people say he's the greatest scorer they've ever seen. No, he. I mean, and and they always trying to compare. When it comes to that, they trying to compare him to LeBron. But it, the only other offensive player that's playing today that when you start talking about offense, it's him. They're on the same team. It's him and Harden. Mm -hmm. And at one time, I was thinking that maybe Harden was the best offensive player in the league. But the best offensive player in the league right now is. Kevin Durant. He's a walking mismatch. Oh my God. He's a walking mismatch. Eighty-four point six percent from the field. Yeah. And 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 all this great stuff that I saw in the game, right when we started the episode is when I noticed that, and I just had to mention that. So just to, to start off, right there. <laughs> eighty-four percent from the field. Dream Team is not the free throw line. Yeah. The field. <laughs> exactly. And he uh, shot a lot of perimeter shots. A lot. Yeah. And. Show maturity tonight. Yeah, and Kyrie. <laughs> Kyrie won't know Kyrie. This is this who he is. I mean, if he could stop all the off-court nonsense, and even in his press conference, he need to stop mm -hmm. because the, the dude is assassin, man. I, listen, I was I'm a big LeBron fan. I follow him where he goes. I was in Cleveland when Kyrie was there, no doubt. and he's a better version of that Kyrie right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He on on the floor. It's just we can't get past all, all the nonsense. Nobody want to hear all that. Just this is what we this is what we want from him. And that's why people were going nuts when he disappeared because yeah. that's what we want to see. Yeah, and they, and then they say you hate him. Nah. You're hating on him. No, this is we we want to see this Kyrie, and then and and we will support him. All this other stuff. We, we're not looking for you to be no politician, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? We, we yeah. Continue doing what you're doing in the, in the communities and all that. That's great. We love it. We, we That's the extra part that, that makes us love you. Mm -hmm. But, dude, this is... This is this is how you get the platform to make the difference. And tonight on the platform, <laughs> on Kyrie was a, an assassin. There's no matchup for him on, uh, with the Clippers. None of them. None. 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 But but I will say, the Clippers let him off the hook. Well, that's what they do. Because they at, early in the game they were attacking him, 
early in the game. And you let him rest on that defensive end, and he showed in the second half. Came out half after the half. The second just half, went the crazy. whole game, and he was going crazy. Kyrie was, and it was timely, like, oh, let me t- they think they did something. I, I got something better. Mm-hmm. Watch this. Look how smooth this is. Wham. Mm-hmm. Bang. Take that. It, that's Kyrie, though. We're forgetting the name. Well, we're not forgetting a name, but the other part of the big three, James Harden. It was a pivotal stretch during that game with uh, Kyrie and Katie both sat, and he played with the reserves. And we were mentioning how yeah. he kept it all under wraps, kept them close. Actually, I think they had the lead. Yeah. They took the lead. They took the they lead. Took the lead, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That Did was, he have a triple-double? Oh, that was next. That was next. Yeah. Triple-double out of um, how many shots he took? 15 shots. Mm. Seven for fifteen from the field, so he uh, uh, and forty six point seven percent, right? But he ended up with twenty three points, fourteen assists, and ten rebounds. That's from your third option, mm-hmm. supposedly. Well, yeah, it, it was a third option tonight. Yeah, he was. He was just. He was more no, of the facilitator. He was more he like was the second, second option, yeah. and KD was so efficient. <laughs> Was the third option? It's crazy, right? Yo, that's crazy. It was crazy. Ooh, Brooklyn is, and they played some defense tonight. They did. They played some defense, they tonight. Did. but it's easy to play defense against the Clippers yeah. when it's when you give them a playoff atmosphere. Yeah. Because pandemic P disappeared in in, in in many spots of this game. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he hit it. He hit a few big yeah. shots and all that, but no. See, this is what I'm. This is this when they're winning. They're on their their game winning streaks, and. It, I'm, I'm watching headlines of people saying that they're, they're the best team in the league and all that. No, I'm looking at who they, who's. I know you got to play who's on, who, who's on your schedule, mm. but they're not really playing the teams that that put that playoff atmosphere in. They put that playoff atmosphere in, and to me, they all folded, including the coach. All right, all right, but we, I'm gonna play devil's advocate because that's what I do a lot here. We praise Utah for winning 10 in a row, right? Right. No one cared about who they played. No, because it's Utah. The Clippers played, what? They won 10 out of the last 11? Mm-hmm. It's still W's. Right. They did yeah. what they had to do. It's great. But as you stated with Pandemic Pete, I'm not even going to call him that. Paul George. His name is Pandemic <laughs> until the playoffs start. And lot- then he showed us something different. His name is Pandemic P. During halftime, Wade tried to give him an out, making excuses. Dwayne Wade, this is exactly what people were talking about. Right. When it mattered, he – it's a regular season game, but he did fold. Mm-hmm. He wasn't aggressive. He was crying for fouls the entire game, even when he was hacking people on the defensive end. Welcome to the NBA. They all do. <laughs> they, uh, they, I mean, and, and, and that's the thing. Morris, I saw it from, from, the, from TV, mm-hmm. and I hate, I hate those – Yes, Three do. point shooting fouls. I hate that. And you can get in the paint and get banged up, and they don't call it, but they want to call the touch foul uh, on the three. But that's how the, the, the game is played. So you adjust to the rules. Morris, I saw the foul. He hit his elbow. I saw it myself on the TV screen in live action. Mm-hmm. He's immediately screaming, I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. And his coach, Ty Lu, who they praising. So much better than Doc Rivers that he went and challenged it. And down the stretch, he had no fouls. He needed that no, time no, out. no. He had he had no timeouts. Yeah. Um, I mean, that all of these things stand out. They do. They, they all stand. Then why would you foul some when you're down down the stretch? First of all, off a free throw. Off a free throw, Jeff Green, Jeff Green, wide open down, down. That's that's not just players on the court. That's coaching also. So making adjustments is what they claimed about with Doc Rivers, but it's not even about adjustments. You couldn't see that you needed a man. In high school, we learned that. No doubt. And if you was watching the game, they had time to figure it out because Joe Harris tried to take the ball out. Right. Harden stopped him. Like, no, no, I got it. Right. And they still. And nobody's back on defense. I don't get it. I don't get it either. That's 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 that mental. That was a game. That's mental breakdowns, and that's this was what carries over this Clippers team, and 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 as far as leadership of, of, of Kawhi being a leader and all that, I, I'm not buying it. They had to fill up the, the the whole coaching staff, all the assistants, 
It's all leaders that was on championship teams trying to bring it there to, to masquerade it as Kawhi. Not, Kawhi is a, le is a leader. He's not a leader. He's not a leader. And down the stretch, he, it looked like it's back again. If you watch from what he complained about with Doc Rivers, mm -hmm. he complained about not making adjustments and knowing how to get the ball in places where they could score and people being in the right place. This is, I'm quoting from him, mm -hmm. right? He said it. It was the same thing down the stretch. He couldn't get the, he, there was nowhere where he got the ball where it was, where it made sense for them to get easy buckets. That's a valid point. They got away from the triangle. If you watch. But the triangle wasn't, it was, the triangle worked at spurts, at spurts in, in, in the game. Yeah, but it, but he was in a correct spot when they were running the offense. Right. It was portions throughout the fourth quarter. He's sitting behind the three-point line. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, that's coaching. They, and everything is about, the, you live by the three. You die by the three. Yes, sir. And that's all I saw coming from the Clippers was three-point shooting from out of their, their completely their complete offense. Now, I'm not gonna say that that's all they did, but because we, we we know why some of the comments we make comments and and people don't understand that we're just speaking of majority or whatever. Mm -hmm. The majority of their shots is all three-point shooting. You live by the three, you die by the three, yeah. and then your decision making. They still need point guard. And Reggie all that. Jackson is not it. it. No, no. He he no. He had a couple of plays down the stretch where you like, bro, what are you in the league? You what are you doing? Yeah. But um, I don't know. Brooklyn looked good. We we we're not gonna sit here and and. Paul Act George didn't have 26. Bro. The Clippers gave it away. Now nah, Brooklyn took that game. Oh, before we go any further, yo, shout out to Taj, man. Taj Cooper, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Brooklyn, that's his team. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, they they played well tonight, man. It was it was an exciting game. I'm highly impressed. I always knew Kyrie was a baller, but to see him play within himself tonight, he even gave some effort on defense. A lot of and ones he gave up, but he tried. But his closing effort, out effort, yeah. his defensive effort is what win games. The last time I seen him play defense was on the the, the comeback, the three one deficit in Cleveland, mm -hmm. coming back from with Golden State. That that was the best. The best I've seen him play defense, mm. and because he gave an effort, it wasn't that it, 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 it he was like this great defender, but his defense is all about effort, no doubt. Yeah, but great game tonight. But we, um, as a viewer of the game, someone who loves the game, I think Brooklyn still they still have holes in their roster. Just watching that game, they are too small. Because in the first half, yeah. Ibaka's not a finisher in the paint. Mm -hmm. If you play against a team who can, because they were switching off, you had Harden and Kyrie on Ibaka in the paint against other elite teams, mm -hmm. it's going to be hard to come back from those type of deficits defensively. I think they need to figure out a way to get a big who can actually defend. Oh, I, trust me, they're working on it. <laughs> they they got to be working on it. Well, well, listen, if I see it, I know they see it. I know yeah, they're working on it. Exactly. But it, it, great game tonight, but, man. But it's not out there. That's the thing. So, well, you got to wait for the buyouts. You got to wait for Cavs because Cavs the only <laughs> one with all the centers. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the farm the, system. The, they only the, with the big. The, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. Anything else that, you want to add? That, man, great playoff atmosphere game. There was whole many things in that game that we could talk about. If you missed it, I'm I'm sorry. You can check the replay. Mm. But those are the games that, that that's exciting. That's on a Tuesday night. No perfect. Doubt. It was perfect. It's, it's the NBA. That's why we love this game. No doubt. The games like that. Oh, one last thing before we go. Shout out to Steve Nash. I've been killing you all year, man. This is a well-coached game by him. Yeah. Even yeah. his timeouts he called. Because yeah. he, he normally out, don't call timeouts. He out-coached. Yeah. Um, uh, um. Ty Lue. Ty Lue. He out Ty Lue, them. Kenny Atkinson, Chauncey Billup. All the leaders. Yeah, everybody was over All there. the cover-ups for, <laughs> for, the, for the weakness of, of Kawhi. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. So we, we shall see, man. This could possibly be, um, in some people's eyes, a finals matchup. You know we're not rolling with that. But um, Brooklyn, as of tonight, they look very good, man. Coming off that bad loss. Yeah. Although it was situations in this game where it could have got tight had Ty Lue not blew that time out like you stated earlier. Yeah. But um, it's a but W no, nonetheless. No, you got to understand. I, you know Ty Lue from Cleveland, it, man. Uh, Clippers, man. Yeah. It's the Clippers. I mean, it's as it, we're only going to go by the last year and like, oh, it's just a fluke. It's not a fluke. Mm -hmm. 
it's not a fluke because all the guys that took all them guys that took the they, they pointed the finger at it wasn't just them and that lets me know that let me know back that they don't have it because any leader would never throw his teammates under the bus mm -hmm. when as a team they folded no doubt not every, that, game seven Kawhi didn't show up the whole series after game two P pandemic p didn't show up uh, they weren't about about trez not guarding joker but they man got 40 no but yet they they throwing him under the bus and doc rivers under the bus and everybody else's fault but doc rivers is gone and trez is gone and now it's all on y'all and y'all made a bunch of them same mistakes tonight I don't got nothing else to say. Well, there you have it, man. They're the common denominator. They're the San ones Diego still Clippers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one last thing, Clippers. Where's Lou Williams? <laughs> <laughs> Lemon pepper <laughs> Lou. Lou. I don't know what's going on with Lou, man. They no. played well tonight, but it, it just... It just no, the problem with Lou is this, and that's what I feel. I just It's hard to play with a team or on a team where you don't feel wanted. And I just mentioned all of that that I told you how they he's a part of that other group that they was pointing the fingers at. Mm -hmm. You know, though he's a part of that old regime of the of the dog clippers and he don't fit in with them this year because he's a part of who they threw under the bus. And I, I believe if Blue got into another place He'll do exactly what he does. And the only thing that he does, he don't play defense, mm -hmm. and but but he, he is a walking bucket. This year he's really struggling, and I think that's about being around that atmosphere, and I don't think he's really won it. All right, no doubt. Sounds good to hear, man. Great game tonight. NBA, like my uncle stated, this is why we love the game. Um, exciting basketball. Yeah. Exciting basketball. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm amped right now. So this is the uh, Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, like the video, leave a comment, tell us what you thought about the game tonight. What do you think about Brooklyn going, uh, progressing in the playoffs or throughout the regular regular season? The Clippers, are you a believer? No. Could they go to the finals? They can. They can go to the finals if something. If, if the Lakers <laughs> is not there. But what what about the Dream Team? <laughs> On them to, be, to, to believe. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. All right, so don't forget to hit the notification bell. Once again, we appreciate all the love. Got over the hump. 1,000 views out of uh, two out of the last three videos. Yeah. That's a huge feat. We're here for the uh, the we long haul. We're here for y'all. Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm your host, Earl Tima, alongside my big unk, Alan Tima. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Y'all have a good night. We out of here. Peace.